The City of Roses is not only famous for their rugby stars, but also their cricketing talents in the form of the BKB Knights. The head coaches of these two sporting neighbours, Harvey Sforri and legendary fast bowler Alan Donald, recently met up at the Toyota Stadium as the two shared ideas and values with each other. Alan is a very keen Cheetah supporter and um, he asked Ruan Boota, who is working with both teams, players, about the jackets and he was willing to buy it. And um, Ronel got to hear about it and said, well, rather than just give it to Alan, he's, a, he's such an icon in Bloemfontein and uh, a great supporter of the team. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's just uh, a good thing that we've done and, and get his support to the Cheetahs as well. Well, you know, as a young kid, I've always wanted to play for the Springboks, believe it or not. I, every young man growing up in South Africa want to play rugby. And that was in me, uh, the love for the game has been uh, instilled in me from a very, very young age, under nines, under 13s. You know, you know in the age groups, you just go through it. I've always been a Free State fan. My granddad and my uncle used to come, my uncles used to come take me here. I was just coming to this building here now and, and seeing how the stadium has developed through 1973, uh, 1995, when they started rebuilding the stadium, which is fantastic. So I spent many, many hours here. I was even a ball boy once when the British Lions played here many years ago. Um, and Casey Pinar scored that try in that very corner, uh, sitting on the athletics track. So Free State Rugby has been part of my life for, for a very long time. Although I never represented Free State Rugby, um, I quickly realized that uh, lying at the bottom of ruck wasn't really for me so <laughs> so i decided to go and play uh, take off cricket so but look I, i've been a free state rugby fan for many many years it's very important for us to support each other uh, there's a good relationship between the cricket uh, the knights and the cheetahs for quite a while we had a day where we played touch rugby and, and cricket against each other previously and um, it worked really well. Myself and Alan are staying quite close together and we had a few uh, discussions about it and um, they've got big plans to, to do that day again and it will be, will be great for all of us. Some of the players are big friends or big mates and um, we support the Knights when they play in Bloom and, and vice versa. You know, when you move in and you finish with what you've loved doing, and that's playing cricket, uh, and when you move into coaching, for me always was to go and discover other things. You know, as a coach, you, you're looking to reinvent yourself all the time. And and I spent, yes, I spent time with the Stormers. I spent uh, spent time here with Narka Drotsky, with Rossi Erasmus, sat in some of these these meetings in his change room, uh, just listening to, to, to his philosophies and, he, and his ways of coaching. You know, and that's why I want to join hands with, with Harvey's, uh, is, is, you know, in, infiltrate his camp a little bit and see how he does things. And, and, and we're looking to, to set something up eventually when, the, when the, the season kicks off between the two, you know, the cricket and the rugby and, and, and have, a, have a bit of fun as, as two franchises, you know. So, so look, it's important. It's very important. I think it's always been a close relationship with the Knights and, and the Cheetahs, so I, I can't see why that, sh that, that shouldn't carry on. We had a few discussions. Um, for me, it's always interesting to to find out how other sports are doing their things, what um, are their values, their culture, how do they go about. So <clears throat> the two of us had a, a few discussions uh, over a beer or two about it, um, and we are learning from each other. And yeah, it's great to, to have a discussion with such a legend as, as Alan about those things. You know, Harvey's and, and the Cheetahs have had such a good start. We were talking the other day about this traveling schedule and how tough it is and, and how you've got to go from playing two games across in Europe and then coming back in here and, and, then, and then do the same thing here, you know. So I, I just think that we, we're dealing with a, an obstacle for, that, that has been in everyone's way and, and how we manage that psychologically more than anything else has been the biggest challenge. So. And then having to all of a sudden thrust yourself back into the season, when, when that's going to be, I don't know, whether it's August uh, or September, when the season kicks off again, having to start that is going to be the tough thing. So, uh, you know, I just, like I, I said to our players on Zoom meetings time and time again, that it is just how resilient we stay in these times, um, how motivated we, we, we stay, in, you know, to keep training the brain to be calm and patient. And, um, and it's not an easy thing to do unless you get out there and you can play and you can act, stay active is, is, is going to be the challenge to get back into it. So, look, I, he's got an exciting group of youngsters here. I like what's going on with the Cheetahs and uh, you see the guys that have come back 
from abroad, from Japan and, and from, from uh, France. So uh, I, I look forward to seeing this young team develop into a very, very strong unit. And again, you know, so, and, this, and, and it's been a trend. Uh, if there's one strength of, the, of Cheetah Rugby time and time again, and you see players come, players go, become Springboks, move on, the one thing that's always been the strength of the Cheetahs is their resilience and, and how they bounce back from adversity. And, and I can't see anything change from here on in. So I wish them a bit, I, I, the best. I can't wait to put my, my bottom on these seats when, when, they, when they come back again. And I'm sure that we're going to see a total of people that resemble the Curry Cup final, you know. So uh, hopefully I, I look forward to be part of that, those people. Wow.